Hi, I was asked yesterday on my Facebook Sapier group how to transfer files automatically from Zoom to Google Drive. Now, there is no easy way to do that with Zapier. Unfortunately, the upload feature in Google Drive doesn't appear to upload the files correctly. So, there is another way we can do it, and I'm going to show you how to do that now using another tool along with Dropbox and Zapier. We'll be able to transfer the files to Google Drive. So, let me show you how. So if you look here, you'll see we're on the page for a program called zbackup.app, or an application called zbackup.app. Now, this is a free program. There is a paid version, but you don't need that. So once you sign in, sign in with your Zoom account, you'll see that there are various options of uploading files too. Now, you can upload to Dropbox, Vimeo, OneDrive, Google Drive, and YouTube. Only Dropbox and Vimeo are free. Google Drive is a paid account. If you don't want to pay for it, then there is a way around that. So what you do is select Dropbox and set up your Dropbox account to link with said backup. Once you've done that, you'll see that it shows the backup location as Dropbox here, and it'll show as active. When you look in Dropbox, you'll find that you have a folder called Apps, and then within the Apps folder, there's another folder called zbackup.app. Now, what happens every time that you transfer a file or you record a file in Zoom on the cloud, it will let ZBackup know once that's complete. ZBackup will then take that recording and create a folder within ZBackup.app, within that folder, with your video files. So I've created a Zoom recording here earlier, and I ran that, and ZBackup processed it. So within the ZBackup app folder, I have this folder here called 2021-03-31, the date, and the meeting name. If you go into that, you'll see that it has a recording file for the video and for the audio. If there was a text file, it would have that too, a chat file. Now, what we need to do is set that up. So that's now in Dropbox. What we now need to do is we now need to go to Zapier, and we want to create a new Zap. So let's give it a name. Uh, zoom to Google Drive. And we want to choose Dropbox as the action or the trigger. We want to choose an event and it is new folder. We want it to look for any new folders. And then we click continue. We're going to select our account for Dropbox and we're going to click continue again. And now what we want to do is, is select that first Z backup folder. So we go to apps and then we click it again and we go to Z Backup App, and that's the folder we want to select. And we then click Continue. We can now test the trigger, and you'll see it's found that folder, and it's found the new folder that was created, the one with the Zoom meeting. So now we can click Continue, and we can select Dropbox again. And we choose an event, and this time we scroll right to the bottom, and we want to choose Find File, and click Continue. And we then choose the drive again, or the folder again, rather. We want to set this action up now by selecting Custom. And we choose Path. And that's the path to that Z backup folder that was found in the first step. The search term, we want to find a MP4 file, video file. So we're going to click MP4, or type MP4. And we're going to leave these two as they are. And we're going to click Continue. Now we're going to test, ignore these two fields. And in a moment, it finds that Dropbox file. So we now click the plus sign and we choose another app. And this time we want to choose Google Drive. So we click on Google Drive and we choose upload a file. Continue, and we choose our Google Drive folder. Just go through the options here. And the folder you want to save it to, I'm going to save it to a folder called Zapier. And the file, we want to select the file that was found in the second set in Dropbox. So if you click Show All Options, you'll see there's a direct media link. If you select that, and ignore the convert to document, 
give the file a name, you could give it the date, you can give it just whatever, we'll just call it Zoom Recording. Oops. Recording. And the file extension is MP4. Now we click Continue. And let's test that. So test and review. Takes a moment or two, depending on the size of the file. And you'll see that it has created that file successfully. So if we go into Zapier folder in Google Drive, this is a file that's just been created. And there's the video file. You can make it bigger if you want. So all that's left to do now is just turn on the Zap. And now every time that you create a Zoom cloud recording, it will automatically be saved by Z Backup for free to Dropbox and then from Dropbox to Google Drive. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please tell others. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you're notified of any new videos that I create. And I look forward to speaking to you all again very soon.